I've just done a little test print and the cello is a little too big so I need to measure it and add about five millimeters to the border because I ordered the wrong cellos but I might as well use them. Please can someone explain to me how it is early morning and I have already managed to spill coffee all down my top. I'm beginning to think there's something seriously wrong with me. Anyway, good morning guys. So today is going to be a busy day of making things. I am super happy with how those sticker packs have turned out. If you see my last vlog, you will have seen that I got the crickets out and I made my first sticker pack in a very long time. Today, I want to get to work on using my DTF printer at the minute. You can probably hear the background noise. There's a head clean going on at the moment because the white is clogged and we're meant to do it every day. It's just a bit of a pain, but today I want to get to work on tote bags and send off for some new sticker sheets ready for an autumn launch. There's a lot going on, but today is gonna to be a busy making day. First of all, I'm gonna do all the admin stuff like answering my emails and we're gonna make some stuff up. Let's go, shall we? Dean's had an accident. He spilled black ink for the DTF printer all over this and it's gone up my wall. So if you see black ink stains on the wall, you know who the culprit was. Also, how cool is this? Two of Britain is outside. They've closed off this road and they're coming down. You can hear all the bands and stuff. Me and Mike are watching the thing. I should have worn the catnip logo. Get some free advertising in in case there's a camera crew. on the DTF printer and I'm going to do a bunch of tote bags. I did this design here, Autumn Leaves Coffee Please and oh my god I thought I might as well fit it on one sheet and this is the first time testing out these designs and I've got some new designs as well so I'm going to do a little test, see how they turn out.
This one didn't print properly. Okay, this is the result of doing a new product launch. We've done some new mugs. We've got our new sticker pack. I've also sent off for a bunch of planner stickers, which should be arriving in a few days. We have some new cute tote bags using the DTF printer, which I'll talk a little bit about in a bit, but this is what the printed like. Look at that quality. We've got some new uh, courses and mouse mats love these mouse mats for like desk decor and then we've got some cute mugs like this really cute cozy autumnal mugs I really like this one this one's my favorite look at this one anyway we've got a few mugs and stuff <sighs> so overall it's been a successful day we've done some new uh, bits like the mouse mats and stuff the courses i'm not sure about i feel like they're a bit too busy but honestly sometimes the designs that i don't think will sell well sell really well in fact most of the designs that i'm not sure about normally sell well and the ones that i absolutely love don't sell well the one thing i will say is i'm second guessing my dtf printer if i'm being totally honest i don't know whether it's just because i'm tired and um it's just been a busy day of creating stuff today but the process takes a very, very long time. And I didn't factor this into account. One, I didn't realize how long the process for each tote bag would take from the printing. Even the printing just takes ages. The laptop takes ages to load, and then the actual print takes ages. Then you have to let it dry. Then you have to powder it. Then you have to cure it. And the whole process takes a very, very long time. And when you factor in the wages for the manpower of each tote bag, it would be better to buy the transfers already bought in. And I don't know if that would be worth the time by the time I factored in the cost of wages per hour to actually print these ourselves. I don't know if we can return this printer though. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should sleep on it see what he says because i don't think he has a return policy but he did say he'll work something out for me if it's really not working and maybe it's just time to cut our losses i'm not sure maybe i need to sleep on it and come back with fresh fresh eyes tomorrow also disney have just released a new game as well on the switch and i can't stop thinking about it so i think i'm gonna go home and download that it's another cozy rainy day in the studio today I'm gonna open the window so I can hear the rain. That sounds so nice. Hello guys, so it's a cozy rainy day in the studio today and I'm actually by myself in the studio. Which brings me back to the time that I used to like do catnip by myself and just see Sabine in my own studio kind of potting around doing my own thing without any distraction. I've woke up in a much better mood than what I left yesterday. I've been really trying to better my health and everything and get into a good sleeping pattern. So last night I downloaded Dreamlight Valley by Disney and I'm trying to get my sleeping habits into a really healthy consistency routine. It just makes me feel so much better in myself at work. I feel more creative when I'm more energetic and I'm taking care of myself. I now no longer sleep with my phone by the side of my bed again. I've moved it to the other end of the room because I end up scrolling on TikTok until like the middle of the night. So my new ritual on a night is to settle down, unwind, journal in my five year planner journal that I got and then play Dreamlight Valley and it kind of sends me to sleep all the nice music and everything. And speaking of ritual, 
channels. I wanted to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to our sponsors today, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. Ritual is an obsessively researched multivitamin company. I've been using the essential multivitamin for women, but they also have other ranges, including prenatal, postnatal, vitamins for different ages, and even a gut health and protein range. One thing I personally love about Ritual is their quality and complete transparency, sharing openly about their supply chain, sources, studies, and suppliers. Better health doesn't happen overnight and right now Ritual is offering you all 20% off your first month. Fill in the gaps in your diet with the essentials for women, a small step that helps support a healthy foundation for your body. That's 20% off one month's worth of vitamins or protein by going to the link in my description or using my code that will also be in the description oh, for you. I'm ready to take on the day today as well so a huge thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video and now we are actually going to get to work on finishing up this autumn product range launching. So the planner stickers have all been approved, they're ready, they're going to turn up hopefully in the next few days and then it'll be photographing all of these new goodies but I need to get some cute little autumn decor pieces um, because I want some for the studio anyway and also as photography props so I might even have a trip to the range tonight and see what autumn like props we can get. So let's get into the working day shall we? I'm listening to Animal Crossing City Folk ambiance music while we get into the working day. So I went for a nice coffee with my friends. It was super nice. Uh, it's actually Thursday. I've just done a Patreon podcast. Anyway, I wanted to show you a little bit of the designs that I did on Baby Blue. So that's what I've actually been doing today. I designed some new mugs and I used like a mock-up uh, where you put your image over the top. For those of you who don't know, Baby Blue is my second business, kind of like a side hustle. And Dean, my husband, He's the one who kind of runs that and fulfills all the orders over on there. For those of you who don't know, Baby Blue as well actually started on catnip and it was where ultrasound prints were. I created like these ultrasound prints and now it's kind of become like a generic graphic design store and it's kind of enjoyable because it means I get to use my graphic design skills and I've actually today, I'll show you, purchased licenses for illustrations to use. So I haven't actually illustrated these but I have designed it everything myself and I bought like assets basically. So this is what I've done. So first up we got this spooky mug and this is a mock-up for it. Look how cute this looks. Oops, it's out of focus, sorry about that. But these turned out really cute and these are the mock-ups that I bought. So I found um, a couple of sellers on Etsy and I didn't say, look at this little doggy mock-up. Like what the heck, this is on Etsy. So uh, there's my little spooky one. I really like this one. I think that looks really cute. I also did this one that says it's spooky season. I've also done this Mr. and Mrs. mug. And last but not least, we then have like this generic kind of autumn-y one with leaves and you can put your name on it. I have been at work for quite a long time today. It's currently six o'clock. I'm gonna call it a night and I'm gonna go home. And then tomorrow will be photography day and hopefully we'll get to go and get some kind of props and stuff.
I went to a coffee shop this morning to do an illustration for the Patreon community challenge and this is one of the best illustrations I've ever done in my opinion. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's the colours or how cosy it looks but I'm just so happy with how it turned out. I think I'm going to make this into a last minute tote bag. I don't know what it is about her that I really really like. I think I've got my passion for illustrating back again and it's been a while i feel like what i've been doing probably the last year or so is just creating work for work's sake and although this is work as well it's part of a community challenge i've been giving myself more time to illustrate so really taking my time with the brush strokes really taking my time with the layout and not just rushing it and as a result i'm liking my work a lot more than what i was in the last couple of years also i got some little bits let me show you actually the haul that i got so some of them aren't necessarily like autumn autumnal or like autumn designs like these dried leaves here but i feel like the tones and the colors are very autumn like the rusts and the like brown leaves got this little ghost and then we got this candle again it's not like autumn themed but i thought this particularly for baby blue like the look i thought that and that would go nice together with maybe a little pumpkin i got this cool ceramic pumpkin which is it lights up yeah i think the batteries need changing but how cute is that i absolutely love that it's so pretty so these bright ones would go really well with catnip and these more minimalistic uh, ones would go with baby blue really cute anyway let's get into a photography day shall we the only thing is this is my current situation of my photography desk so we've got some props and stuff over here so i'm gonna give it a tidy up and then we're gonna get to work on shooting some photos i think i went to the pound shop and ended up buying a load of a load more stuff <laughs> So I finished taking photos but I'm actually going to take photos of the tote bags at home and um, also these tote bags see those are the right colours printing them myself the greens have went weird but they'll be okay for product photography until we get the transfers but I've done a little a new bag I just love this design this is now like my favourite design and it wasn't intended to be a design I need to peel it um it wasn't intended to be like a new design in the shop it was meant to be for the patreon community challenge but i just love it so much look at this okay i hope i've printed it right yay oh this is cute <laughs> nice oh i love her i need to press it again Ta-da! 
Look how cute that is. Oh, I hope the transfers are just as good. Hopefully they will be just as good. Uh, it's a bit risky really getting the transfers like without actually trying them and then launching it for sale. But I am gonna put a seven day shipping time, but look how cute that is. <laughs> Ta -da! How cute for autumn. I love it. Anyway, it's Rings of Power night tonight, so the new Lord of the Rings series. It's currently Friday, so I think I'm going to end this vlog here. And the launch is on Sunday, so we're coming in bright and early in the morning because the guy's coming to print up, pick up the printer at half eight in the morning. So Saturday, it's going to be a busy Saturday at work tomorrow, but I'm going to end it here because all I'll be doing is sat editing photos, preparing for the launch. So by the time you're watching this, hopefully all of these goodies will be on the store if everything goes according to the plan of the new transfers. So wish me luck. Alright then, thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.